All right, guys, welcome to another episode of Liquor with Lenore. I'm George Lenore, visual artist here in Atlanta, Georgia. I own LenoreDesigns.com and Wet Paint ATL. All right, so today we're actually going to be talking about Majesty. It is a straight bourbon. It's actually distilled here in Georgia. It's an 80 proof bourbon. It's been aged for two and a half years, of course, in new white oak barrels. Um, from the notes that I read up on this, it should have some vanilla flavor as well as caramel. And it should have like a, a, a woody, woody and spicy type of flavor as well. So we're gonna pop this open in just a second and get into it. All right, guys, we're gonna go ahead and uh, pop this open for our first round. Get right into this. Oh man, that smells good. It does have like a, a sweet, sweet smell. It doesn't smell overpowering. Or, or strong. Um, so cheers, here we go. It's real smooth. Wow. It is kind of caramelly. Um, I think I am getting a little bit of that, um, the spices and that wood flavor. Wow, it's real smooth. Yeah, that's no burn, but hold on, that's a little tidy burn, tiny bit. But for a bourbon, it's very, very smooth, very, very smooth. Um, can't wait to see what it what, what it's like on the rocks. Stay tuned. All right, guys, we had that first shot. The first shot was pretty smooth. You know how we do, we do our three rounds. So we're on to the second round. This is gonna be on the rocks. So I'm thinking um, since the first round was smooth, since we're talking about on the rocks, this should be very, very smooth. <clears throat> but as you know, if you put uh, a drop of water or a little, little ice on it, it should bring out some additional flavor. So I can't wait to see um, what else we get. Okay, now I'm getting even more of that wood. Um, the, the wood flavor is really coming through. It, um, all the sweetness kind of went away. Now I'm just getting the bourbon uh, and, and that uh, the wood flavor. I'm not really getting any other spices. Um, I think in that first shot, I did taste a little bit of vanilla, but. Um, on the rocks, I'm actually losing some of that vanilla and the caramel. Um, but it's still very, very smooth. It's, it's a pretty nice drink. All right, so I'm going to finish this up, and then we're going to go to that third round of me drink. All right, guys, so welcome back. We on to the third round. Um, so far, we've had a shot. We put it on the rocks, and now it's time for a mixed drink. Um, so today, I found a recipe. It was called, I think, the peach meat. So with this one, we're going to take two shots of bourbon, which is uh, four ounces. Um, well, we'll say uh, two parts to one part. And that's um, uh, peach schnapps there. And we're gonna do about four or five dashes of orange bitters. And 
Okay, I'll shake that up. And of course, you can garnish this with, um, like if you have an orange in the house, do some orange slices on it, put it around the rim. That'll give you some additional flavor. All right, so once again, we're talking uh, Majesty Bourbon here. So we're gonna see what it tastes like with a little peach schnapps. Cheers, guys. Oh man, that's real smooth. It almost tastes like a sweet tea. It's very, very sweet. Real summery. Mm. All right, so while I'm drinking this, uh, we're just gonna review those first couple rounds. So we had that first shot. That first shot was very, very smooth. We got some of that caramel. We got some of that smoky flavor out of it. Um, on that second round, we kind of lost a lot of that, but we did get some of that smoke. Um, and we just kind of got a lot of alcohol. But overall, from the first two rounds, I mean, very, very good drink. And um, when you mix it, and I know most people don't mix bourbons. They want to either have it neat or either on the rocks. Uh, but if you mix it, you know, it's very, very smooth. So, I'm going to finish this up. Alright guys, welcome back. We just finished three rounds with Majesty Bourbon. Uh, overall, it's, it's a pretty good um, um, product. Um, what I like about it most, I like that it is very flavorful. If you're drinking this neat, it's perfect, especially for you bourbon drinkers. I know some people can't handle it um, neat like that and they're probably gonna wanna put it on the rocks. But this is real, very, very smooth and my suggestion from everything that I had, probably drink it neat. Um, I like the fact that it's black owned and it comes from Georgia. Um, so I love my local products. So I'm gonna support as best as I can, especially since it's black on as well. Now, <clears throat> I also had some friends over to do some reviewing and taste testing of this particular product. So stay tuned and check this out. And taste this and see what we get. Cheers. 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 Oh yeah, I forgot. Cheers. Cheers. Ooh, 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 ooh. Smooth. Yeah, it's smooth. Yeah. It's very smooth. Oh, yeah. It ain't gonna have that bite, bite, no bite. Yeah. This can be dangerous. Right? <laughs> yeah. It's a bite. Bite me too. Give me that shower. <laughs> Dude, that's straight. Yeah, that went down pretty good. good. It did. Pretty good. Yeah. All right, so that is fairly smooth. It's a tiny, well, the female said a tiny little bite, right? Yep. It's like little. Toward the end. But yeah. not really. Yep, toward the end, it did. A little bite. A tingle in the mouth. Yeah. But once it went down, it was, it was kind of smooth though. Yeah. You know how sometimes you get that, that down and you're like, <laughs> 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 That was crazy. <laughs> 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 it's like a little bit of a bite. Yeah. It's like a little bite. Yeah. 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 This has been another episode of Liquor with Lenore. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe to stay abreast of our content. And be sure to drink responsibly.